the misadventures of Zeria, the world's smallest superhero, by J.P. Brown. Chapter One: Birthday Countdown. There was nothing that could take Zeria's joy away. Her tenth birthday was in ten days, and she would finally become a superhero like the rest of her family. Her mom and dad, as well as her three older brothers, are all superheroes. Even her grandfather and grandmother are superheroes, but they retired when Zeria was born. Yes, Zeria came from a long line of superheroes, and now her time has come. It was her chance to join the family business of saving the world. Zeria had been dreaming about becoming a superhero on her tenth birthday for a long time. Since birth, Zeria has been an average girl, but all of that was about to change. Her superpowers, according to family history, will begin at twelve o one a.m. on the day of her birthday. No more going to Carthen Elementary School, even though she had some great teachers and friends. She will especially miss her best friends, Coral and Nico. Zeria will be going to the superheroes training academy on the planet Orinos to learn how to be the best superhero to serve the world. There is, however, one small issue: Zeria hasn't told her best friends that she will no longer be attending school with them, or that she is going to be a superhero. She is going to have to tell them before her birthday. After school one afternoon, Zeria wanted to discuss her superhero outfit options with her grandmother, whom she was named after. Grandma Z, I have some ideas about how I'd like my superhero costume to look. Zeria exclaimed as she dropped her backpack on the kitchen table and walked into the living room where her grandma Zeria was sitting. I thought you wanted to wear my first superhero outfit. Have you changed your mind? Grandmother Z asked while watching TV. "Oh, Grandma, I would love to wear your superhero outfit, but can we make some alterations?" Zeria asked. "You know how I love fashion." "Yes, baby girl, you are the most stylish nine-year-old I know," Grandma Z said. "Grandma, I will be ten in nine days, sixteen hours, and twenty-three minutes." Can't you just say that I'm ten already? Zeria asked. No, ma'am, you are not ten yet. Just show me the sketches when you can, sweetheart. Grandma Z said with a smile. Will do, Grandma. I was hoping that we can find a way to use the material from your superhero outfit to make one of my designs. What do you think? Zeria asked. That will work. We will need to get started on your outfit soon, okay? Grandma Z said. Okay, I've got to go and do some more research on the designs. I will show you my ideas later, Zeria said. Okay, baby Z, Grandma Z said. See you later, Grandma. Are you going to call me baby Z once I turn ten? Zeria asked. You will always be my baby. Grandma Z said, "Ah,、oh, Grandma, how can I be a superhero when you call me Baby Z?" Zeria asked. "Superhero or not, you will always be my Baby Z." Grandma Z exclaimed. "Speaking of your birthday, have you invited Coro and Nico and the rest of your friends to your party?" "Not yet, Grandma." I don't know how to tell Coral and Nico that I will no longer be going to school with them. Better yet, how am I going to explain that I will become a superhero like the rest of the family after my tenth birthday? That's a lot of information to give to your best friends in just a few days. I am not sure that their nine-year-old minds can handle it," Zeria said with a perplexed look on her face. You are going to have to tell them sooner or later. I suggest sooner, baby girl," said Grandma Z. "Okay, Grandma, I will try to find a way to tell them," said Zeria. Zeria thought of the outcome of telling her friends about becoming a superhero in a few days. 
Coral and Nico have been her best friends since first grade. They do everything together. What time did the rest of the family say they would be home today? Grandma Z asked as she startled Zeria, who was in deep thought about how she was going to break the news to her friends. Not sure, Grandma. Anyway, I've got to go and work on my sketches. See you later, Zeria said as she grabbed her backpack from the kitchen and rushed upstairs to her room. She wanted to have at least two designs completed before she started her homework. As soon as Zeria began working on her sketches, Grandpa Stewart opened the door. Hello, baby Z. How was your day at school? He asked. It was all right until Weston started picking on the new kid Thomas at recess, said Zeria with a frown on her face. Weston was making fun of Thomas' clothes and his accent. I can't believe that there are still bullies in the world. That is so 1980s. If I had my superpowers, I would have zapped him so hard he would be crying for a week. Now, Syria, you can't just zap someone because they are a bully. You won't be able to use your superpowers like that, Grandpa Stewart said as he sat on the bed next to her. I know, I know, Grandpa, but Weston is a mean and terrible kid. And what if I zapped some sense into him? I would save the world from at least one bully, Syria said with a smirk on her face. As I just said. Our powers don't work that way. Our superpowers are used to protect and help people, not to hurt them in any form or fashion. Grandpa Stewart said with a chuckle. But Grandpa said, "Zeria, jokingly, you don't understand. I will be helping people. I will be helping everyone at Carthen Elementary, except Weston and his gang." That should count for something, shouldn't it? Grandpa Stewart started laughing loudly and said, "You've got a point there, Baby Z. I'm going to grab a light snack from the fridge until your grandma finishes cooking dinner. Do you want anything?" Grandpa Stewart asked. "No, Grandpa. I am fine. I will see you at dinner. By the way, why is Grandma Z cooking tonight? You always cook for the family." Syria asked with a puzzled look on her face. "I had a meeting this afternoon with some old buddies, so I asked your grandma if she could prepare dinner this afternoon. Don't think that I don't know why you asked why your grandma is cooking." Grandpa Stewart said with a smile. "Why?" Syria asked with a sheepish grin. "Because you know I am better cook than your grandma." Grandpa Stewart replied. "Grandpa." That is not true," Zeria said with a giggle. "Tell the truth," Grandpa exclaimed. "Stuart," Grandma Z called from the kitchen. "I need your help with the recipe." "Got to go, kiddo. Got to help your grandma cook," Grandpa Stuart said as he stood up from Zeria's bed and walked towards the door and ran downstairs to the kitchen to help Grandma Z. Zeria smiled because she knew that Grandpa Stuart was right. Grandma Z can't cook. Zeria had started working on her second sketch when she heard her superhero family coming home. She ran downstairs to the kitchen to greet them all and couldn't wait to hear how their day went. Zeria's oldest brother, who is six feet five inches tall, had his head stuck in the fridge looking for food. Her youngest brother, who is six feet eight inches, was sitting at the table reading the paper, and her middle brother, who was six feet six inches, was lying on the couch. Her mom and dad were talking to Grandpa Stewart in the living room. Grandma Z was cutting up vegetables for a salad in the kitchen. Zeria loved to see her family in action, especially during dinner time. They are all so full of energy. Even after they have worked all day, soon she would be joining them. She's counting down the days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Zeria's brothers heard her run down the stairs and turned towards her and said in unison, "Hello, baby Z." Zeria's mom and dad also saw Zeria and both said, "Baby Z." Zeria ran over to her mom and dad and gave them a big hug. How is my baby girl? Zeria's father asked as he kissed her on the forehead. I am great. How was your day, Dad? 
Etheria asked. It was awesome. We accomplished a lot today, Sirius' father said. We all missed you, Baby Z, Sirius' mom said as she kissed her on the cheek. Pretty soon, we will all be together protecting the world. I can't wait, Mom. I have been working on some sketches of my superhero outfit, exclaimed Syria. But I thought you were going to wear Grandma Z's superhero outfit, Aria Syria's mom asked. I talked to Grandma Z, and I'm going to make a few alterations to fit my fashion sense, Syria said. Mom, I think I would like to have a tiara as an accessory to my superhero outfit, she continued. What? You are going to defend the world with a tiara on your head? Grandma Z asked as she walked towards her daughter-in-law, Aria, and baby Z. Yes, I want to show all girls that they can be superheroes with or without superpowers and still be fashionists, Zeria exclaimed. Let me see your... Before Zeria's mother could finish the sentence, she lifted her nose and turned swiftly to Grandma Z. Mom, I think I smell something burning, Aria said to Grandma Z. Grandma Z ran to the kitchen with her hands flying in the air. Oh no, oh no, Grandma Z shrieked. The whole family was shaking their head because they all knew that Grandma Z couldn't cook. But she always tried her best to prepare a meal for the family occasionally. I am going to have to take some cooking lessons, Grandma Z said under her breath. She pulled out four large casseroles from the stove and they were burnt to a crisp. At least I didn't burn the salad, Grandma Z said aloud. Sorry, gang. I guess we will be having pizza and salad tonight, Grandma Z said. You know, I tried to cook a decent meal for you guys when Stuart isn't available to prepare something. We know, Mom, Aria said as she walked over to give her mother-in-law a hug. Team, how many pizzas do you want? Orhan Zeria's father asked. Dad, we are famished. Can you order two large pizzas each for us, boys? We've had a tough day, said Hans, Zeria's oldest brother. Two whole pizzas each? Really? Orhan asked. Yes, Dad. Can you go ahead and order already? Asked Keon, Zeria's middle brother. We're hungry. Okay already, said Orhan. I'll call now. I would just order ten pies. The usual, right? Yes, said everybody in unison. I'm going to run back upstairs and finish working on my sketches. Can you call me when the pizza arrives? Zeria asked as she scurried up the stairs. See you later, sweet pea, said Grandpa Stuart. Oh, I forgot to ask, what kind of cake do you want for your birthday? Lemon supreme or red velvet? Both, Grandpa, Zeria yelled by opening the door to her room. That girl sure does loves herself some cake, Grandpa said with a massive grin on his face.